All parties in the matter of Craig versus Restrepo. Step forward. 23-year-old Justine Craig is suing her cousin, Amanda Restrepo, for unpaid utility bills. Ms. Craig, how old are you? 23. According to your complaint about 10 years ago, you and your brother went to live with your grandparents. Yes. And when you went to live with your grandparents, the defendant was living with them. They were, she was living on the third floor. How are you related? My mom and her mom are sisters. At some point when Ms. Restrepo left the house and you left the house to move in on your own someplace, is yes. that right? When was that? 2008. And at that time you were still living at, with your grandparents? Right. At what point, according to you, did Ms. Craig come to live with you? She came to live with me quite a few years later, probably like three years from now. That's not true. She three came years ago, not yes, three I'm years sorry. from now. Three years from now is three I'm years sorry. in the future. Yes. My life is going quickly enough. Yes. <laughs> three years ago. Yes. So you're talking about. She came to live with me on the street for about three to four months because no, she I had didn't. gotten in an argument with her step parents. That is not true. So what happened, according to you, is at some point, Ms. Restrepo asked you to put the utility bills in your name when you were 18. Yes. Who were you living with when you were 18? I was living with my step-parents. That's not true. Tell me where that conversation took place. At my step-parents' house. Tell me about it. She got her own apartment, moved into the street, and because she couldn't turn gas and electric on in her own name, because she had previous bills run up from herself, she asked if I could do it because my brother was living with her, not me. Okay. How long was your brother living with her? The whole time she was living there. Older or younger? He's a year younger than me. Can I just say something? What? She had lived with her grandmother at the time. I was living upstairs. When I lived on the street, her brother had the bills on in his name because I couldn't put them on. It was not in her name. I would like to see just, evidence. Okay, just one second. Okay. So what okay. you're saying is that the bills mm -hmm. were in her brother's name. Yes. Because you couldn't put them on in your name because you had poor credit with the utility company yes, because you didn't pay them before. Yes, So they wouldn't let either. you turn them on. So he came to live with you and he put the bills in his name. Yes, ma'am. That's not true. Okay. I'm going to look. So it would surprise you if the bills from that location mm -hmm. were in her name. Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Show me the bills in your name. What's your first name? Justine. The address was one street, correct? Yes. Her name. I was not aware of that. I her thought name. they were in her brother's name. Well, it's no. in her name. I didn't ask Your Honor, you. they were in my Shh. brother's name when she was living with her friend Lindsay at, I don't know what address it was, but. It was uh, Okay. That's when she had my brother's gas and electric in his name. In what year did her brother live with you? He lived with me, I don't know. It's so, it was so long ago. Um, 2013. Yes. He lived with me for about a year. You owe her $747. Judgment for the plaintiff. We're done.